Do a number together, I promise you. You promise me that? I absolutely promise you. I'll okay, give you my okay, word. OK. Do you know what we're going to be doing, George, tonight as well? We're going to be doing phone messaging challenge for a portable DVD player. <laughs> I know, I know, we spoil you. <laughs> we're casting our eyes over another four lookalikes in face fits. And, of course, a dream holiday in Passport to Paradise for someone in the audience. Who will it be? Who will it be? Will it be? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no. <laughs> but first, it's time to tell you about this week's hidden cameras. That's right. And this week, unbelievably, we've been invited to a wedding. Have, Have a, look a look at, at this. this. This was earlier today when this couple got married. How about that, gang? Oh. Yeah. And Denise, myself and you at home have been invited very secretly to the wedding reception. But there's no need to worry. The bride and groom are in on it, in on it aren't they? Tommy? Yeah, they certainly. So they've invited us and no one else knows. So we're going to be causing havoc with our secret hidden cameras later. And don't forget, when we get there, if you recognise anyone, phone them because you could be winning a share of £2,000. £2,000. If you've gone out for a night and you just, you know, you just suddenly people start calling you up, you get into a competition, you suddenly end up with £2,000. What's that? It's a touch. It's a touch. You've had a right touch, is what you've had. <laughs> OK, we'll reveal whose wedding it is in just a few minutes' time. The okay. first. Something different now. Time for in law or outlaw. In law or outlaw? <laughs> Thank you. OK. Now, <clears throat> to play this game, we're looking for anyone here tonight uh, who's come with an in-law. Now, it could be their mother-in-law, father-in-law, could be have. a son-in-law, anyone. Hands up who's with their in-laws. Got one there, one, two there, there's one down here. You, uh, what do you think, Vaughnie? Who are you going to go for? Let's go this guy here, cos he's nice and neat. And they're close to me okay. as well. So, hello there, madam. What's your name? Karen. Karen. Carol. Carol. Har yeah. Hello, Carol. Welcome to the show. So this is your son-in-law. Hello. Yeah. What's your name? Chris. Chris. Hello, yeah. Chris. How you doing? What do you think? Well, I'm good, thank you. What do you think, Vaughan? Do you think they? What do you think they look all right, audience? Yeah. 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 You think you know each other pretty well? Come on down and play in-law or outlaw. Yeah. Do you want to take, you take, take Carol, Carol? I'll take Carol. What's your name again? Chris. <laughs> OK, you're, you're Chris. OK. So, welcome, Carol. Welcome, Chris. That's one. How are you? Not bad, thank you. You good? OK. Yeah. Um, now, would you say you have a good relationship? Would you say that? What, with my mother-in-law? No, with the whole audience. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. No, yeah, with Carol your mother-in-law. Yeah. You've got, got a good relationship. Carol said he'd better say yes. Carol, would you say you <laughs> have a relationship? Mm, yeah. <laughs> is he good enough for your daughter? Because that's always the thing. They're never good enough for the daughter. Yeah, he is. He's a good boy. He's a good lad, he's good yeah. OK. Do you always agree on things? Yes. Well, he always agrees with me. He always <laughs> agrees with <laughs> her. Do you always agree with her? Best way to do it, isn't it? I always agree with the mother Just agree. Just nod <laughs> like that. While yeah. all the time, your mind is playing pool with friends in a pub. <laughs> OK. Now, traditionally, in-laws have a shaky relationship. We are actually going to find out how well you guys really get on. Dan, how are okay. we going to do that? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask Carol three questions, and Chris, you have to match her answers. OK, okay? now, you can't hear right. Carol's answers, so hold that a second, and I'm going to... Oh, you uh, say put the headphones on. I'll put on. these headphones on. Very do, you loud do you know when they put headphones on people in, in quiz shows and things? Do you know what they do? They play backwards music in it. So, oh, can, no, they do it. They, it completely addles their minds. It's a good idea. It. But also, Johnny, just before you do that, we have to make sure that Chris is facing that way, because okay, he's not okay. allowed to cheat. OK, he's not allowed to cheat. Clues. Chris, you've got... Yes, you've got to face it that way, at about that angle. There. What do you okay. think now, Vaughan? Chris, can you hear me? Chris! Chris, Chris, can you, can you hear me? No, I think we're Chris, covered Chris, I've got £10,000 £10, in my pocket. Do you want it now? <laughs> <laughs> you definitely can't hear me. OK, <laughs> do you know what? I think it's time to let everyone in on our little secret. That's right, because we're not actually playing in-law or outlaw, are we, Carol? No. No. No, the we're reason not. The <laughs> that Chris is here and he's got absolutely no idea is because he's going to be playing... Passport, Passport to Paradise, Paradise. Gang. Whoa. <laughs> Go on, Dan. Tell okay, him where his He thinks his wife, Tracy, is on a beautician's course in Derby. OK. But she's not, is she? No. Where is she? <laughs> Hello, Tracy. We have to act normal at this point. Just Tracy. Hi, normal. Johnny. Hi, Denise. Hello. Are you all right? Yeah, fine, thank you. OK, Tracy, tell us, where are you? I'm in California. Woo! <laughs> OK, later we're going to give Chris a chance to join you, but for the moment, don't make a sound, Tracy. Keep it shtum, OK? OK, now, what we're going to do now is we're going to 
bring Chris, who is obviously oblivious, can't hear a word I'm saying, we're going to bring him back in the game. What I want you to do is, when I take the headphones off, we're going to pretend Carol's given three answers to questions, yeah? And it's the last answer. So give her a round of applause. So we've got to give her a little round of applause. I'll cue him for it, and then I'm going to ask him for the first answer. He's, whatever he says, he's going to get it wrong, and I want you all to automatically go, oh. <laughs> <laughs> OK, here we go. So I'm going to take his headphones off. OK, not bad, Carol. Uh, there's, there's Carol's well three done, answers. Carol. That's Carol's three answers. Can I do a bad attempt? Not a bad attempt. No, stay forward, please. No looking at her. Stay forward. Stay forward. Let me have that back. OK. Now, Carol's given us three answers. OK. OK, let's yep. see if you do get on, see if your answers match. The first question's about your wife, Tracy. We asked Carol where Tracy prefers to holiday. Cardiff, Czechoslovakia or California? What do you think she said? California. <laughs> You know what? She said Cardiff. <laughs> what a shame. Do you know what? I'll tell you what. I wonder where Tracy would prefer to go. Well, well let's ask her. Because, because Chris, she, she is. Chris, she's not on that beautician's course in Derby. Tell him where you are, Tracy. <laughs> I'm in California. She's yeah! in California. Looking good there. OK, that's right, Chris. I have to tell you that there is no such game as in-law or outlaw. It's all been a lie. But obviously, Carol's been in on it, haven't you, Carol? Yeah. Uh, but thank you very much to Carol, ladies know. and gentlemen. He didn't know. Was it hard? OK. 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 Carol, go back. Cheers, Carol. Take care of yourself. Thank you very much for stitching him up so admirably. She you really are keeping proper that one quiet. scheming in-law. Love you for that. OK, have you got Rufus. anything, Chris, that you'd like to say to Tracy out there in California? Yeah, she's supposed to be in Derby. Derby's looking pretty good nowadays, yeah, isn't Derby it? Yeah, Derby does look good. <laughs> she it? does, yeah. I know they've done up the baseball ground, but that's ridiculous. <laughs> Marvellous. OK, so you, tonight you are going to be playing Passport to Paradise. If all goes well, you could be joining Tracy in California for that holiday of a lifetime. Have a look. <laughs> Chris, have a look Chris, at win this. Chris, Passport to Paradise tonight and you could be California dreaming. Your luxury hotel is the perfect place to soak up the endless sunshine. Check out the legendary sites, Hollywood, SeaWorld or the Golden Gate Bridge. Chris, it's an amazing trip and one you'll never want the sun to set on. But will it be yours? Oh, how about that? Yeah, yeah. You know what? It is an amazing trip, Chris, and it could all be yours. How do you feel? Sorry, you haven't got a microphone. I'm going to do that, which looks odd. <laughs> good. good. Yeah, you're, Superb. you're really up for it. You're excited. Definitely. How, <laughs> how well do you think you know your missus? Uh, pretty well. I'd like to say now my turn, but I'd get in trouble yeah, with go Tracy. Now, Dan, I'd like to ask a couple of questions. <laughs> Put your head where you like. <laughs> If you're going to California later in the show, but in the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, Chris and Tracy. How about that? <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you, Carol, once again. Now, did anyone see the pictures in the papers this week of the Simpsons themed wedding? Did anyone see this photo? Yes. Anyone see it? Yes. Just like we rehearsed it. Okay. <laughs> There's the bride and groom there. They got married like that. <laughs> uh, apparently, and apparently what's even weirder is the bride arrived, instead of a nice Rolls Royce or a Bentley, she arrived in a cement mixer. And she could go sort of round and round No, and no, round. she wasn't in the cement mixer, Dan. <laughs> just didn't see. She was driving in the cab. OK, go now, on, Dan. Now, we didn't show that picture just because it fitted our wedding theme. It's also a fine example of what we're looking for in this week's photo messaging challenge. That's right, cos though they both may look a little bit, uh, you know, eccentric, one thing's Crazy. for sure... Yeah, they definitely stand out in a crowd. If you were at that wedding, you wouldn't forget. You wouldn't be like, oh, I don't know if I remember which wedding was that. <laughs> Oh, I remember where the guy painted his whole head yellow. <laughs> yes, yes, I do recall it now. So what are we okay, asking so for, Dan? What we're asking for this week are photo messages that say, this should get me noticed on a Saturday night. So to give you some ideas, we asked for photos from our studio, studio audience that they reckoned would guarantee to turn heads. Let's have a look at some of the best. You really did well, audience, incidentally. Really this, is, this is Matt Betts from Sutton Coldfield. Look at that. <laughs> Where's Matt? Where is Matt? Oh, he's over there. Matt, Matt that is making the effort. Give him that. He's making the effort. Definitely going to stand up with that one. I, I just... I, 
Do you know what I'd love to do? If I, if I was like that, do you know what I'd love to do? I'd love to do that for a job interview. <laughs> a really sensible job, just walking out. Hello there. Perfectly qualified. Okay, here's the next one. Have okay, a look. Okay, this is Katie Darknell. Katie, look at oh. that. <laughs> She's disguised as a lighthouse. Where's Katie? <laughs> oh, there's Katie. Katie. Friend, it's not me in the picture. Oh, that's your oh, boyfriend it? in the picture. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> but I made him do it, so. All right, I was going to say, it's a very good way of attracting like sailors, that. but he doesn't look like that kind of boy. <laughs> Oh, no, repelling sailors, of course. Like that, and head for them. Okay. okay, and this one is from Claire Taylor. Okay, this is from Claire what's, Taylor. What's special okay. about this well, one? Well, I'll this, tell you about this know. one, Den. It looks like an ordinary tongue. Yeah, now that wouldn't normally get you noticed. But I am told, and I don't know whether it can or not, this tongue really can stand out. Where are you, Claire? Okay. Uh, this tongue thing, are you, are you sure this is the sort of thing that, that is, uh, firstly, decent at this time of night? It's decent. It's de yes, Johnny. It is decent. <laughs> uh, and is, it, is it also very attention grabbing? It has grabbed attention in the past. It certainly has tonight. Okay, Claire, <laughs> show us how <laughs> oh, your tongue gets you noticed. <laughs> wow! Oh my God. Wow! Once more, please. It's like a Venetian blind. It is, or it's, it's like a it's like a starfish or a sea in an enemy. Let's that's have a look good. again. Oh <laughs> wow! Okay. When did you discover that you can do that? At what point Good in your point. life? Good point. Well, let's ask. We've got someone here. We can ask. At what point in your life did you discover you had that peculiar talent? I think early teens. It was on TV. I oh, bet God. it was. <laughs> early teens. Practicing okay. in the mirror. Okay. If you can do anything like that or anything else that gets you noticed on a Saturday night, get snapping and send your pictures to us at 07834 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. And please remember to tell us your name and where you are from. And if you haven't got a photo phone, you can send your picture by going to bbc.co.uk slash Johnny and Denise, and you just click through all the links. Throughout the show, we'll be looking at your photos, and the, and the very best, this will get me noticed photo, will be winning that portable DVD player. <laughs> no, don't, don't, we just don't stop giving. OK, really but make sure the person in the photo has agreed to you sending the picture in for legal reasons. We, we have, have to, to say that. that. OK, now, of course, some people don't have to make any effort at all to get noticed. Why? Because they're blessed, some would even say cursed, with a <laughs> phenomenon that scientists call looky likiness. We've got four people here tonight who all suffer from that affliction, and here they are to play Face, Face Fits. Fits. OK. Thank you very much. This is the part of the show where people who reckon they look a little bit like... so actually a lot like someone famous, and they're put to the test. As always, Johnny and I have never seen them before, so we're going to try and guess who they think they look like. And once we've seen them all, the audience here will vote for a winner who they think deserves... Stop doing that. Sorry. Who they think deserves to pick up the Face Fits trophy. OK, and remember, when you pick up that trophy, there's that big roar. You really give them that trophy-lifting rush. There's a trophy. There's Here's a trophy. Here's one I made earlier. Wobble it, Den. I'm wobbling it, Johnny. Now maybe the trophy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I think it's time to meet our first Face Fits contestant. <laughs> oh. There we go. Oh, there. Hello there, welcome to the show. What's your name? My name's, um... God, it's not normally a tough one, Matt. Uh, yes, Lee <laughs> Constantine. Beef, beef, Const beef Constantine. Beef Constantine. What an unusual name, Beef. That's not a name, it's a dish. <laughs> mm. Nice dish. It is a good dish. You're really called Beef Constantine. Yes. I'm almost more taken aback by that than your staggering resemblance to, I would say... Who? Who do you think? <laughs> Eddie Murphy, you think? OK, okay. well, Beef, tell us, who do you think you look like? I Wait a second, Beef, but before he does it, just to convince us, can, can you do the Eddie Murphy laugh? Yes. Go on, have a just go, go on. Hang on, wait, let's see. We have to find out who we are. <laughs> That's good. That's good. So who do you think you Again, are? again. Again, again. I again, again. Go one more time with the love, please. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. And I think I don't like Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy, OK. Let's just check. There we go. Thank you very much indeed. OK, time now for contestant number, number two. Number two. <laughs> OK, contestant Right, number welcome two. to the show. What's your name? My name's Helen Bright. Helen. Helen Bright. Where are you from, Helen Bright? I'm from Birmingham. You're from Birmingham. Now... All things bright and beautiful. All things bright and beautiful. Do a lot of people say you look like this person? Do you get people stopping you in the street? 
not in the street, but I'm a teacher at school. And whenever I introduce myself to a new class, I always say, hello, my name is Miss Bright. But before I even have a chance to say my own surname, they always say oh, this person's they name. They always right. say this person's name. Well, I think... I think look, look, the I Natasha think... Kaplinsky, maybe. No, I think maybe Kylie Minogue in Neighbours. Yeah. Do you think? What do we think, yes. audience? Over there, what do you think? Yeah. Look at that up there, that, that hooligan squad at the back. What do you think? Yeah. Kylie Minogue, they think, up there. Helen, who do you think you look like? I think I look like Kylie Minogue. OK, yeah. let's cut it up and have a look. Let's just check. Oh, you do. Can you do that face? It's all angling the chin down here with those gone now. OK, there we go. Kylie Minogue, contestant number two. OK, Vaughnie, it's time now for contestant number three. Here we go. <laughs> What's your name, sir? I'm, uh, oh, wait, <laughs> wait, that's... Easy, Tigers. Tony Sharman. Tony. Your name's Tony Sharman. Where are you from, Tony? I'm from Chinkford. Can I just say, I think, for me, Colonel Gaddafi, all the way. I think Tom Jones. Uh, no. I know, I know, I know, like a, like a pocket-sized Jeremy Clarkson. Leo oh, Sayer. Yeah. Leo Sayer. Yeah. Johnny, Johnny, Yuri Geller, somebody. Yuri Geller, someone said. That one, that's We've had Rod that. Atkinson. Anything else? Okay, tell us who do you think you look like? I think I look like Leo Sayer. Leo yeah. Sayer. Yeah. Someone's got to get cut it up and have a look. Hey, Daniel, wait a second. Look down number two. <laughs> yeah, he does actually. He looked really good there. Thank you very much indeed. Okay, and finally now, time for contestant number four. <laughs> My name's Andy Parker, and I'm from Merseyside. Andy, yeah. welcome to the show. From Merseyside. What do we think here, Gary? Yeah. Yeah. Seaburn! Yeah. Easy, yeah. easy, yeah. Gary. Whoa, yeah. Okay. We have got a feisty Put crowd here tonight, and I Sorry. like them. OK, tell us, Andy, who do you think you look like? I think I look like David Seymour. OK, let's cut it up and have a look. Stay with look down camera two there. Yeah, you do, it's staggering. OK, into the, uh, the enclosure there. Right, that was contestant number four, David Seaman. OK, it's that's like, it. It's not really him, all right? <laughs> OK, that's it. We've seen all our contestants, but which one has impressed you the most and deserves to lift and kiss the Face Fits trophy? Audience, it's decision. OK, it's time for you to... I know you've all got keypads. It's time for you to choose your favourite, so get on those keypads, please, and get voting. Will it be contestant number one? I tell you anyway. <laughs> Contestant number two, of course. Kylie Minogue. What about contestant number three, Leo Sayer? Or will it be contestant number four? Yeah. <laughs> David Seaman. Contestant Seaman. number four, David Seaman. Yeah. Okay, no, no. No, they're the only one. Eddie Ladies Murphy. and gentlemen, Eddie Murphy. Come on, over here, Murphy. There we go, come on, there we go. Wait, wait, Tim, he's going to raise it properly. Round up. We now have. The trophy raising moment, the rush that every human needs in their life. I As you lift the trophy, you, you know what to do, gang. Eddie Murphy, the face fits trophy. Thank Kiss you it and lift it. Face. as well. <laughs> oh, the laugh. OK, we're also looking for your nominations for junior face fits. Kids who look like celebrities that have shrunk somehow in the wash. We've had some great entries, <laughs> but there's still time to enter. Please keep them coming into bbc.co.uk slash Johnny and Denise. But please, no more kids that look like mini Mick Jaggers. Yeah, that is right. We've had loads, and frankly, so has Mick Jagger. <laughs> Titchmarsh walked away with the Face Fits trophy, but did he deserve it? We wanted to find out, so we put Titch to the test. Here Have it is. Have it. a look at this. I think I look like Alan Titchmarsh. <laughs> Here we are at the Royal Horticultural Society Garden Wisley. Let's see if the hardcore gardeners will go for Alan Titchmarsh. Any question you like about gardening? Go on, any, anything you like. Would Budlier be OK? I think 
That's a question for Charlie Dimmer. Mike, he's talking to Williams. That's a question for Charlie, I think. Mrs. <laughs> <laughs> Alan Sitchmark. Well, How do you do? Nice to see you. Oh, Have you seen the soil here? Yeah. Get some of this. Put it, put it in your pocket. Take it, and they know me here. Put it in your pocket, take it home, mix it in, and it'll like cross pollinate. I've got three quarters of an acre. I don't think that will well, be no, much. Just... Excuse me? Yes. Are you Alan Titchman? I am, my dear. That's it. OK, we're at a garden centre now. Let's see how we get on. She's a bit disappointed you're not on the uh, current scene, so... No, well, you, you, there comes a point where you've done so many gardens. One thing we're, we're, I'm really keen about at the moment is gnomes. <laughs> Everybody laughs. <laughs> it's going to be gnomes. Alan Titchmark starts gnomes. If I tell people this, no. my son's a designer. You know Tommy Walsh's garden, you know, big old... Yeah, boy, yeah. Tommy Walsh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't recognise you. Have you come across the Olympic spray that's come out now? You don't watch Ground Force particularly? No, or yes, I do. do you like no. it? No, I don't. I do. You do like a single prong fork. What about the Johnny and Denise? No, I don't like things like that. Have you ever come across these open toed wellies that we're doing now? Now that you've not got many work, you can come around and. <laughs> <laughs> right, I've had a day as Alan Titchmarsh. I've had enough of that. I'm off home. See you. Very shortly, Denise is going to be performing a song starring these people. Why? Because in the audience is Tracy Bridger. Now, Tracy used to be a professional ballroom dancer, and in some way, all these people have been involved in her dancing past. What? Yes. Okay. Tracy's got no idea they're here. Up for grabs is a prize for everyone she can name. The question is, will she recognise any of them? Let's find out. Excuse me, it's gangway. Singing Let's Face the Music and Dance, I give you Miss Denise Van Alton. There may be trouble ahead, but while there's moonlight and music and love and Let's face the music and dance Before the fiddlers have fled Before they ask us to pay the bill And while we still have their chance Let's face the music and dance There may be teardrops to shed But while there's moonlight and music And love and romance Let's face the music and dance Face the music and dance. Ladies and gentlemen, Denise Van Alton and her dancers. 
Oh, is that Tracy Bridger? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Evening, Trace. How are you this evening? Fine, there's Sarah. That dance was especially for you. I can see already you're recognising people. That's good. Are you shaking? Oh, don't, no, don't. Calm down. It's all right. It's going to get worse. <laughs> really, now's not the time to be nervous. OK, so for a subscription to Dance Today magazine, who is that with Denise now? Is it Wilhelmina? No. You're absolutely right. It's your friend, Wilhelmina. <laughs> well done, then. <laughs> you taught her the tango so she could dance it at her wedding. How about that? That's a lovely thing to do. There's four more prizes up for grabs uh, because with the dancers are four more people from your past, OK? And you can win four <laughs> prizes. The first of those prizes is one of those electronic dance mats that you plug into, like, the PlayStation and, and actually just look insane. Uh, so here we go. Uh, who is with Denise now? Sarah. You're absolutely right. That is your friend Sarah Jeffries. Um, Sarah, what's your fondest uh, memory of, of Tracy oh, dancing? Well, it has to be the time she and Craig turned up for a show and she'd forgotten her knickers. <laughs> And she had to wear Craig's underpants instead. <laughs> and did they become visible during the dance routine? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Black ones. That must look dreadful. Well, yes. yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> but so the judges struck, they must have thought it was a very unusual thing to do. I was more worried they were going to fall down. <laughs> they didn't, though? No. I was going to say that had been a show right there. OK. <laughs> um, for the third prize, a glitter ball and disco lights. <laughs> now, that, that is worth doing that for. OK. Uh, who is with Denise now? I don't know who that the is. The tooth might be cosmetic. <laughs> Otherwise, that would stick in the mind. I don't know. This is for a... I, I remind you, this is for a glitter ball and disco light. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, I don't recognise her. I don't know. I don't you know. just absolutely don't no. know. OK, I can tell you now, that is Denise Hollyoak, who is your first ever dance partner before you oh, moved no. on to men. What? <laughs> oh, no, you were 11 years old. You didn't recognise her, though, Not so no glitter ball and disco oh. lights. OK, that is Denise Hollyoak. For the fourth prize, a dinner dance for two at the Ritz. How about oh, that? Oh, I love great. Yeah, dinner dance for two at the Ritz. Who is that with Denise now? I can tell you now, it's not a former member of the village people. <laughs> Chris? No. Chris? No, I don't know. I can't remember. OK, I'll tell you now, that was Stephen Honeyset. He was part of your Latin and American dance team, performed oh, at the no. 1983 Royal Variety performance. How about that? You haven't seen him since. <laughs> were you very good at uh, Latin dancing and stuff? Were you, were, you, were you really good at it? It was all right, yeah. OK. <laughs> uh, finally, for a 12-seat box at the Royal Albert Hall for the oh. International Ballroom Championships <laughs> final, who is that with Denise right now? It's Robert and Marion, my first teachers. <laughs> yeah, Robert and Marion Tuninger. Tuninger. Well done. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> now, Robert, I've got down here, was your first ever dance teacher. He's yeah. since moved to Holland. You haven't seen them for seven years. No. When did you first become involved with Tracy? Uh, in a manner of speaking, obviously, I don't mean involved, uh, you know, in a relationship. Twenty years ago, there came a father with his little tiny tot, and a father said, make my Tracy a champion, please. <laughs> and there she is. Well, congratulations to you, Tracy. You've won Dance Today magazine, an electronic dance mat, and a box at the Royal Albert Hall for International Ballroom Championships. Once again, Tracy, Denise and her dancers. <laughs> <laughs> now, all evening, thank you very much. All evening, Denise, you're superb. Never sounded thank better. Thank you very much, okay. Johnny. Uh, now, all evening, we've been asking for phone photos of yourselves that say, this will get me noticed. Why Le did you do that? Because I just thought it needed a bit of oomph. <laughs> OK, let's have a look at some of the best ones that can actually be shown at tea time, because some of the ways in which you think you should get noticed are not ways to get noticed, they are ways to get arrested. <laughs> okay, OK, we've got some practice here, Vaughn. Let's have a look at this one. I think this is a particularly good one. Expand. Expand. Look at big that. Glasses. The big glass is Nancy never Smith. not funny. How about that? Let's Nancy have a Smith from Horsham. Condense. Um, uh, oh, what about this one here? Oh, this looks good. Let's have a look at this Two one. Two heads are better than one. Oh, that's beautiful. Jamie Matthews from Staffordshire. OK, let's have, well done to those two. That was beautiful. Um, uh, let's have a look at the next page. Let's see if we've got some more coming okay. in. Oh, oh this go. is good. I love all oh, any oh, forms on, of contortion on. are always... Oh, it's marvellous. <laughs> that's great stuff. Stephen Bromley from Lincolnshire. I, I... And we have to do this 
He never even left the sofa and he's on telly. How about that, gang? And we haven't got time for any more. We haven't got time for any more. Let's have a look at that one. Oh, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Some strong contenders there for that portable DVD player. <laughs> yeah, we would, we're just going to be giving it away for the best chance. We just give them away. But if you think you can beat them, there's still time to send your entries in by photo phone call 07834 50 50, 50 50 50 or by email go to our website bbc.co.uk slash Johnny and Denise and follow the links. OK, but now, Den, grab your hat. I'll grab my Thank buttonhole you. because, do you know what, we're headed off for a wedding. Release the confetti!